Tennessee State in the house, about ready to wrap up OVC Media Day. All the interviews here on ESPN Plus. Our special thanks to the Double Tree here in Evansville. Tennessee State, join us. The women's side. There's Ty Evans. There's Gia Adams. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, all right. Coach was uh, having fun last night. Did he have you in the room studying this stuff, or what, what's going on? No, I was sleep. I went to sleep by like nine o'clock. I was out. I love it. I was out. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, I was out. Long did he practice y'all in Nashville before you came last night? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. running laps yeah. in the Gentry Complex, yeah, aren't we you? Yeah, right did that. Right at early, 6 a.m. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, been around this league a little bit now. Finally, you can kind of say that. So kind of give me your impressions of it. Um, it's a great league, obviously. It's uh, a lot of influx of new teams this year, so it's going to be a little different. But I've enjoyed my, my past two years, and I'm looking forward to year number three. Yeah, so uh, help me. Houston to Nashville. So help me with that geography. How did that happen? Yeah, it was a huge jump. Uh, I was talking to Coach Ty while he was at Auburn, and I had okay. previously had an offer from Tennessee State. Why do we keep talking about because that? Because Coach Ty, this is it's it's like it was meant to be basically because sure. Tennessee got the the head coaching job. Because at first I was like Tennessee State, nah, and then you know. Well, my coach is there. I was like, yeah. She's hey. making it sound good. It yeah. is good. Uh, I keep telling her that sounds like somebody else asked to marry her. And then I came in second. And she said, you know what? I was just about to get married. So now that you've asked me, you know what? No. I'll consider your, your proposal <laughs> also. She? No, that's not true. <laughs> the logic behind my explanation is that it was meant to be. Because out of every school there is, how did he end up at a school that I had previously talked to? That I was already like nah, and then he comes and we're here. <laughs> it makes it, yeah, it makes it all happen. Talk to me about your playing style. If you had to describe yourself, this is a one of those college courses here. So describe Gia Adams' game. Uh, I feel like I'm a really um, competitive person. Like I don't like losing, so I hmm. make sure in every drill you're gonna feel my presence and you know that I'm there. And sometimes he was like Gia, like. He's like, mm, I want to win. And whether you're my teammates or not, like, we probably, like, go back and forth and bicker with each other because when we're on the court, we're not teammates, whether we are on the same team. So the five that's on, the five that's on, whatever side I'm on, mm, I want to win. When did you realize you wanted to be a Division One basketball player? I started playing kind of fairly late. I would say, like, I started playing in sixth grade, but I didn't get serious until, about, like, the eighth grade. So come my, um, like, my sophomore year of, like, high school, I was, like, I kind of had like a God like gift to be able to play. So I was sure. like, let's take it serious. And what did you do with preparation for that? What was your mindset going into it? Uh, playing basketball, was it just basketball only? Were there some other sports? No, I played other sports. I played volleyball in middle school and then high school I ran track. Uh, going into that, like it was days that I want to like, you know, sit at home and watch TV. And then my dad was like, no, get up. Like on Halloween practice, Christmas practice, like there was really no days off until I got to like the level that I'm at now. Aren't you grateful for parents like that? Absolutely. And kids that you recruit? Think yeah, about that for absolutely. a Absolutely. They, they, don't, they don't come often. Yeah. yeah it, few it, and far between. But yeah. yeah so blessed to have great parents, it, and I'm, I'm reaping the benefits. Yeah, so tell me about uh, your time in Nashville. Uh, as they say in the South, and I'm from the area, as they say in the South, are you settled in? Do you think, you, you think you're on track with what you want to accomplish, Ty? Definitely. I'm right where I need to be. Okay. Absolutely. No doubt about it. And how so? What leads you to believe that? What's going on that leads you to believe that? It's a feeling. You know, okay. um, it's, I'm going into year three, but at the same time, I don't look at it, you know, from a number standpoint. I feel grounded. The foundation is laid. Um, I had a vision when I came to Tennessee State University, and I can see it coming into fruition right now. So I feel real good about where we are. And, and you and I talked about it on the Zoom meeting two years ago, right after you got in the job. And my, it seems like a lot has, and clearly has, a lot has changed during that period of time. What do you think uh, is impacting women's basketball the most right now? Is it a transfer portal? Is it trying to find student athletes like Gia that are diamonds in the rough? What's the biggest challenge going on? I think it's a combination of all that. You know, the transfer portal has definitely changed the game. Um, it helped us accelerate, you know, what we were trying to do as a program. But also, you know, like you said, with, with Gia, 
I'm going to be honest with you, I, and we talk about this all the time. Um, when I first started recruiting her, I looked at her strictly from a defensive um, standpoint. And every time that I would bring up defense, she would be quick to remind me, but coach, I can score too. I can shoot too. I can score. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. However, I need you to be able to guard, you know, coach, but I can shoot too. I can shoot too. So it was funny uh, when she got on campus last June, after about a week, I pulled her to the side and I was like, okay, I was, I was wrong. You know, you definitely can play offense as well as you can play defense, you know, however, we got to get back to that identity of defense first. So yeah. we're going to do that this year. <laughs> so, so that's great because uh, he, he kind of answered the question I'm going to ask mm -hmm. you a little bit, Gia, but describe Coach Evans' closing philosophy. Uh, he's real defense oriented. Like that's our main thing. We press the whole game. There's even in our half court, it's some type of press. Like he doesn't like let up. Like and we have a great rotation this year. So it's, if you're tired, you got somebody who could come in and do like, just what you could do on a defensive end. So our main thing is defense. Like yes, we can. Yes, we like love scores, but we don't need a score to just make a layup. Like scores are like step backs and all that. We can get the ball on defense, turnovers, layups. Like that wins games. I have to ask you just an overall question, Ty. Is it hard to find players that want to play defense the way you want them to play defense? Is is that hard in recruiting? Not if they love basketball. Okay. See, I'm looking for players who love to play the game of basketball. And I always laugh when I hear he's a defensive coach. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I love offense. I do. I just coach from the perspective of when I was a player of what I hated to play against. And to me, to be a good coach, you have to be able to coach offense and defense. Sure. Now, my style is different, you know, but I prefer to play a style that most people hate to play against and hate to prepare for. And I think it's fun, you know, but you have to be in shape and you have to love to play. And most importantly, which is what she exemplifies, you have to be competitive. See, defense is about effort and competition. So if you don't like competing, you're not going to like to play the way we want to play. And you like competing and you like all of those elements. Yes, sir. Do you see yourself as a leader? Yes, I do. I'm more of a um – I wouldn't say I'm super vocal, but when I do do things on the court, I lead by example, so it makes people want to follow me. Like, I'm not super like, ah, like that's not kind of how like, I was coached growing up. I was coached to like lead by example. So when people see what I'm doing and they're like, okay, she got it, then it's follow behind like the correct thing to do. And again, because I live in the area, how fun is it to play college basketball in a city like Nashville? I love Nashville. I love the atmosphere. I love the people who like attend TSU. Of course, love our coaches. You know, there's a lot of things to do. Like, you know, even though I'm not old enough to get a lot of things, like we all hang out as a team. We might walk downtown. Hold up, downtown. hold up. What do you mean you're not old enough? What are you trying to do? Like, no, like you know, you're coach. old enough to go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, all the time. You're old enough to go to study all hall. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> as a team, you know, even though like, you know people are a little older, we always find a way to hang out with each other, like yeah. together. That's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> good answer. <laughs> and I asked that for the respect of someone coming from Houston to Nashville. Yeah. So what have you found about Nashville that it's been great for you that you've enjoyed, Ty? It's a great city, but to be completely honest with you, I'm so obsessed with basketball and I'm so obsessed with uh, getting TSU where I think we could be. I haven't, had it, haven't spent a lot of time just enjoying Nashville. Now, I'm going to – begin to enjoy Nashville a little bit. You know, I'm going to a concert next Wednesday, my first one in probably in over a decade. So I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. But right now my total focus is on my young ladies. Yeah. Well, have some fun. Gia gives you permission to have some fun. Winning is fun. <laughs> Gia, thank you for yeah. joining us. Appreciate <laughs> Ty Evans as well. Tennessee State, we're just halfway through the Tigers. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment with the men's and wrap up. This is OBC Media Day. Presented on ESPN Plus. Back after this.